A children's story this morning, new to us today is children's story. We'll try to keep them up every week. The children's story today is about praying. I know that all of you pray. Sometimes you pray before you eat. Sometimes we say, God is great, God is good. That's what we used to say at my family when the kids were little. And then we started getting a little more, more involved. And then I hope you pray before you go to bed at night. Sometimes you learn a child's prayer, now I lay me down to sleep. And sometimes we say that and sometimes we sing a song that helps us to go to sleep and it's a prayer song. Well, this is a way to pray any time of day because all you need is this, your hand. I brought an extra one to show you. So this is how we're going to remember our prayers. On our thumb, that's what we're going to call our thumb, our first finger. We're going to begin praying by praying for people close to you. Because when you hold up your hands, your thumb is the closest one to you. So when we use our hand to pray, we remember the thumb, it's closest to us. So we're going to pray for the people closest to us, our family, our close friends. C.S. Lewis, who you don't know, but your parents will recognize that name, he said to pray for our loved ones is a sweet duty. So remember, your thumb is to pray for your loved ones. The next finger is your index finger. Some of us call it our pointer finger. And that is we pray for those who preach, that would be me, who teach, who instruct, and heal. So let's think of who would that would be. It would be our teachers, our doctors, our ministers, our Sunday school teachers, and maybe even our parents because they do teach us too. They need our help when we pray to help, to ask God to help them to teach the right way, to use good ways about them. So you keep them in your prayers. The next finger, that's our middle finger. That's the very middle of your hand. And it's the tallest finger. Look at that. Even on my cut out hand, it's the tallest finger of all. So who do you think that would be to pray for? That would be to pray for the leaders of whatever. The leader of our nation is our president. The leader of our government is our governor. The leader of our schools are our superintendents. The leader of our town might be our mayor or our um, other leaders. Also, think about people who are presidents of companies, the electric company and the gas company. The people who run the businesses that we go to every day, they're also people who are leaders. These people shape our nation and they guide what we call public opinion. Public opinion is how we all think. They help us to decide how we might think. They need God's guidance for sure because their job is very, very tough. Now the fourth finger, if you look at my hand, you could see a little hint what we call the fourth finger. It's called our ring finger. Most of ladies or men, they wear rings on those fingers. When you get married, that's the finger you put a ring on. So it's called the ring finger. But guess what? It's the weakest finger of all these fingers. If you ever took piano lessons or any kind of music lessons, you know that the fourth finger is always the hardest one to get to play a note really, really loud. It reminds us that since that's our weakest finger, to pray for people who are weak, all of those who might be in trouble, who might be in pain, we need to pray for them day and night. They need our prayers because sometimes they're too weak to pray for themselves if they're in trouble or if they're in pain. And then we come to our little finger. Some of us call that our baby finger. You can see on my cutout hand, it's the littlest one of all. And what does the littlest one remind us? Not only to pray for the littlest people in our world, but that's the place where we should put ourselves in relation to God. We should be the least. The scripture said, the least among you shall be the greatest. 
And so we remember to pray for ourselves last. We are the least. After we've prayed for, remember who's going to be on our thumb, the people closest to us, our family and our, freaks, our friends. Then there's our point finger, and those are our teachers and our healers. The next one is the tallest finger. That's for our leaders. The next one's our ring finger. Remember, that's the weakest one, so we pray for the people who are sick and who are in pain. And then we pray for ourselves, because out of all these people, we're the least important, but we're the most important to God, because God believes that each one of us, big, small, medium, sick, not sick, leaders, not leaders, we're all important to God, but it's a good idea if you use your hand to pray, you can remember all those five things. So that's what I want you to remember as our children's story today. And as the weeks go on, maybe we'll have some more other things to remember.